So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to set up NordVPN for the first time. Now we're gonna be focused on the Windows PC version, but I'll go over some of the differences that you'll see on the Mac and mobile devices. All right, so we're just gonna start at nordvpn.com. And before anything, you just need to choose which plan that you want to go with. There's several different to pick from. And depending on, you know, when you purchase it, some of the deals, discount codes, the prices will vary from what you're seeing now. But I think that in most cases, the standard plan is more than enough. But if you're interested in some of the extra security, password manager, things like that, you might want to consider some of the higher tiers. And you also see that there's various options depending on if you commit to one year, two year, and of course, then you can pay just month by month as well. Set up and then you'll download that and, and install. So let me do that real quick. All right, and then it'll bring you to a screen like this. You activate your Nord account and you're all set. And right from here, you'll be able to download to your device and it will then walk you through just the setup process. And this is like installing any sort of app and it'll walk through the process here. I'll make sure that we're gonna launch NordVPN when we finish and it launches. So then once this window pops up, obviously you're going to log in using the email password that you already set up on the website. And this is your home screen, which gives you quick access to some of the key things that you'll need. So the easiest way to get started is up here in the top left-hand corner. You can see I'm not connected and you just have the quick connect option. So you click on that button. This will automatically link you to the fastest and closest server, but you do have the option to choose to do this manually if you'd like. You can find something from the different country list down below here, or you can search for a certain location in the search bar, or you can pick a spot directly from the map, however you wanna do that. But I find, you know, for most cases, just for the security purposes, the quick connect, uh, you can see it just took a matter of a few seconds and you're connected. All right, so let me take you through a couple of the essential settings to configure that I think is important for everybody to do. So to access these settings, you wanna click on the little gear icon down here in the bottom. All right, so once you're into the settings, we're gonna look at a couple of things. We're gonna look at the VPN protocol, which is under connections. So you click on that. You see up here, VPN protocol. And the best option is Nord Links, which you can see here, as this one offers the best, fastest speeds and strongest encryption. But if you're unsure, you can leave this on automatic, but I'm gonna select the Nord Links. And then you look down here at Auto Connect, and if you're frequently, like if this is on a laptop and you're frequently using public Wi-Fi, this enables you to automatically secure your connection whenever you're on an untrusted network, all right? So you could select this, you know, on Wi-Fi networks, you can select that or whichever option is best for you. All right, then we'll go back to the settings and I wanna take a look at the kill switch. This feature is really important because this blocks internet access if the VPN connection drops. This prevents any data leaks and you can apply it to the your entire device or specific apps, all right? So we're gonna make sure that that is enabled. You could certainly go through here and it'll show you the different apps to, to apply that to if you wanna do this. But I'm gonna leave this on as a general kill switch that way. Okay, we're gonna go back to settings once again and we're gonna look at the split tunneling. And what this does is it selects which apps you should bypass the VPN connection. For example, you might not need the Nord VPN for Spotify or food delivery services. So we're gonna just turn this on and then I'm gonna add apps. You can see anything that's up right now. So I'm gonna select like the Spotify calculator, not that that's gonna use up much, but those sort of things and you can add that to the selected list. And you can update and change this anytime you want, but I think this is something to keep in mind as you're using the VPN regularly. And you come back into your homepage and looking at a couple of things, you can see your weekly connections here with the VPN, without a VPN when you have that selected. So you can see that obviously I just installed this so there's no data there. And then they have a couple options here, the threat protection. What this does is blocks malware ads and trackers and it's available even if you're not connected to the VPN. So you can turn that on. Now this is gonna be a pro feature so you would need to upgrade in order to have that. They also have MeshNet, which encrypts remote connections between devices for file sharing. So you can turn that on here. 
And then they also have dark web monitoring, which is something that gives you a little bit of peace of mind, you know, and it alerts you if your credentials appear on any data leaks and things like that. Now, a couple of key differences using a Mac OS. The NordVPN has two different versions that you can choose from. There's the App Store version, which is easier to install but lacks the full threat protection. And then there's a website version, which requires a manual installation, but it includes all the features, okay? So once you install it and you log in and you're in the interface similar to the Windows app, you'll have a quick connect button, the country list, and an interactive map. It's very similar, just slightly different on the Mac version. When you download this and use this on your mobile device, whether it's Android or an iOS, don't subscribe, even if you're only going to use it on the mobile device, I would recommend not subscribing through the app because typically the prices are higher. So I would sign up through the website and get your login and then install it onto your mobile device. So whatever you're using it for, whatever your needs are, I hope this video helped you out to get it set up and get you up and running fast and quick and easy. And I will see you in the next video.